Narulna is possibly the best weapon in Baldur's Gate 3, and that's because the throw barb along with various versions of it are so incredibly broken to begin with. So let's go ahead and pick it up in this video walkthrough. This can be acquired soon as you hit Act 3 and arrive at Rivington. From the waypoint, which you'll walk by, simply head north until you see a small group of people. Alright, maybe people wasn't the best choice of words here, but you get the point. Make your way through the conversation, and when prompted, use any option you can to gain access, and the character you initiate the dialogue with may grant certain choices that give advantage on top of some more favorable DC options. With the gate open, proceed until you see the Dijin, who will likely be the second noticeable NPC on your character's left after getting inside. Separate your party and use your best thieving character to hide and then pickpocket the Dijin. This is because it holds a ring that allows it to use Mage Hand and thus move the wheel, altering the fate of participants and preventing them from winning said prizes beyond their tiny imaginations. Position yourself out of sight, hide, and then pickpocket. Here's a look at the ring itself, and it's likely you have access to Mage Hand already by this point, but afterwards you can sell the ring or whatever else you choose. Once it's removed from the Dijin's inventory, the quest may continue. Approach, ugly one. Now, I would remain on your thieving character, or at least one capable of both killing a couple of mobs by themselves and unlocking a chest, whether that's sleight of hand, a knock spell, or any other means to do so are all fine. With that character selected, Simply speak to the Dijin and say you'd like to play the game. Being unable to manipulate the outcome, you will win the grand prize, which is a fast trip to another zone. After landing on the grand prize, you'll be accused of cheating, and you can deny it or own up to it. Either way, that single character will be teleported to the jungle. Keep in mind, this guide is only going to cover acquiring Nagruna but you're free to explore the jungle as there are some other minor lootables to be found along with extra experience. You'll see the portal in the distance already, and the chest next to it contains the all-powerful weapon that we're after. It's possible to sneak around the mobs, but at this point in the game you should have a character that's capable of dispatching them for some quick and easy experience, along with opening the chest at the end. If not, then prepare ahead of time, with the character that can sneak, invisibility, and so forth. With the second monster down, head towards the portal and you'll arrive at a ledge. There'll be minimal fall damage here if you jump, but that's certainly an option. Feather Fall and Misty Step are two good options that won't have you taking damage. I'll leave a link in the description for the throw bar build that I use for anyone interested as well. It's a super powerful and very fun class. I definitely recommend giving one a try if you haven't already. Before entering the portal, unlock the chest and within you'll find what's arguably the best weapon in the game. Congrats, and I hope you enjoy it. Through the portal, you're free to reconvene with your party, or speak to the Dijin again for some closure. This weapon automatically returns when thrown, deals AoE splash damage around the target, gives plus 3 to movement and jump distance, makes you immune to falling damage, shines with a glowing light, has a plus 3 modifier, and it's one-handed, so you can equip a shield with it. Please note, at the time of recording this video, there's a bug in the game which causes your thrown weapons that have the returning property to sometimes, well, not return. What happens is there can be some lag, and if you visually look at your character, if you end your turn or take another action too quickly, the weapon won't return. So the fix is basically patience. Make sure the weapon reappears in hand before doing anything else. Hopefully this will get some attention and be fixed relatively soon, since these builds are so popular. Rightfully so. The throw barb is capable of insane damage per turn, and it can add additional attacks through Enrage or Frenzy, along with the Thief subclass, and all of these attacks deal consistently high damage when paired with the Tavern Brawler feat. Enjoy your new weapon.